You need to have a little bit of air on top, and you need to have the rest of it to be liquid, okay, on the bottom, as they say in Massachusetts. And um, so anyway, what will happen is, uh, you're going to think about it, and of course Uncle Frank goes over to the IBC root beer bottle cooler and grabs himself a you know, root beer or something, uh, maybe a cream soda or whatever else, birch beer, and uh, he gets that out, and you say, oh, Uncle Frank, hold everything. You know, Uncle Francisco. Um, we're gonna, I, I, gotta, I, I, wanna, I gotta bet. I bet I can break that bottle. And Uncle Frank says, no, no, yeah, come on. And who couldn't break the bottle? No, no, I, I can break the bottle just using my bare hands and not get cut. And of course, Uncle Frank's probably gonna say, what's wrong with you, kid? No, I, I bet you five bucks. I bet you five bucks. And here's how it works. So you're gonna take the bottle, you gotta make sure your hands dropped, okay? This is the, because you, you, you wanna maintain the force that you're applying with this hand. You need to make a good seal with your hand as you're hitting the bottle, okay? So you want to really get so that your hand, when you transfer energy to this bottle, you're, you're completely closing it off. And now watch what happens. And in your journal, I want you to tell me why this happened according to what we're learning in class, okay? And this is Pascal's principle. You, you should be fine. Right, this is just to make sure that I don't get wet. And uh, every once in a while, there's a piece of something that flies out, but uh, usually it's pretty good. Now, you can use any bigger bottle as long as you have a narrowed neck and a wider body. It'll work. Don't try to do this with a pickle jar. Okay, a pickle jar or a jelly jar wouldn't work. But if you have a narrow neck and a wider bottom, this works pretty well. So here we go. Let's see if I can do this first shot. Should I be scared? No, you shouldn't be scared. You should be happy. Okay, here we go. Happy thoughts. Uh, so let's see if I can... First shot here, I don't know. There. Let me try that again. Hold on. Hands wet. 20 seconds. It stopped. Oh, Sam. Bottom go. Uncle Frank owes you five bucks. And hopefully you didn't do it in front of Auntie Sue, or you didn't do it in front of Uncle Joe, because now you can go to them and get five bucks off of them, too.